Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about Vance & Hines Throttle Pack for Harley Touring. So you should be considering a throttle pack if you're looking to get rid of that snatchy, jerky throttle that your bike comes with from the factory. These things are currently being made for 08 on up fly-by-wire bikes. Specifically, that's gonna be those of you folks on touring rigs. Installation on these is pretty simple. I'm gonna call it a difficult one bearder. Most of you should be able to get this thing done very, very quickly. So let's talk about the throttle pack just a bit. The throttle pack is a very singular device. This is not a whole fuel package like you're gonna get with some of the other fuel controllers out there. This is actually intended to stack onto an existing fuel controller. So it's very possible that even if you don't have a Vance & Hines fuel pack, you can still use the throttle pack. And what the throttle pack does really is pulls away some of that jerkiness, the snatchiness you'll get with some of the iterations of fly-by-wire throttle. I know sometimes when I'm on one of those bikes that does have fly-by-wire, I'll twist the throttle and it takes a second for something to happen. It's not so much that the bike needs the time, it's that the fuel injection is just a little bit jerky. It's snatchy, it's slow, and then once it does finally kick in, it's a little too fast. Sometimes it can be hard to modulate the clutch at the same time. And if you're having that problem, the throttle pack is going to remove that from your bike. Now there's a lot of products in the market that'll do that. They basically just quicken up the throttle response. That's not hard to find just about anywhere. You can make almost any throttle feel like it's operated by a cable with an aftermarket solution. Where the throttle pack differs though is that it's more of a dynamic solution to the problem. So not only does it improve your throttle response when you're on say a smooth road, but it can also sense how you're using the throttle. So let's say you're in a shaky off-road situation or you're on a bunch of pavement that has a bunch of undulations in it like a ripple or a washboard sort of a thing and you're giving very odd throttle inputs. Well, the throttle pack is smart enough to see that you're doing that and it actually smooths your throttle input. So realistically, this is gonna give you a smoother throttle response really across the range, both when you're really getting down on it coming off a stoplight or also if you're in a precarious off-road situation. It's especially important, again, for those of you who are on touring bikes, they're big heavy bikes and they're hard to pick up. So installation is, like I said, it's sort of a difficult one beard. In order to install this, you need to remove your air cleaner from the motorcycle, and then you're really gonna plug this thing in line with what's, what, what's already coming into your throttle body. It's not a very difficult installation. I'd say the hardest part really is hiding the unit and hiding the wiring. It's not hard, most of you should be able to do this. It is gonna be a little bit harder, say, than doing a seat, but it's really not anything that's gonna take you longer than half an hour or so. I think most of you should be able to get this accomplished with a minimum of tools and a minimum of time. I think this is a really cool product, especially if you don't like the throttle input you're currently getting with your HD. This is a really affordable way to fix the problem. My opinion is not the only one that matters though. Click below, see what some riders who are already using a throttle pack on their touring bike have to say about it. If you've got questions that I didn't cover, get in touch with one of our gear geeks. On phone, 877-792-9455 is the number to use. And if you want to get us by email, that's a possibility too. CS at RevZilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.